Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about a great and inexpensive way to brighten your complexion to take off all of the old skin that I talk about as a necessity to have a healthy radiant complexion, especially if you're dealing with skin problems. But today I'm going to give you a really unique and inexpensive way to do this. I talk about AHAs and BHAs all the time, which are alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids. And the reason that I recommend them is because they are a natural enzyme that, that speeds up the cellular turnover of your skin. And the reason that's important is that as we age into our 30s and beyond, that process slows down and old skin cells just sit there and they block how well products that you're spending a lot of money on will work. They block your pores with debris and dirt and oil they trap that and you get or you're more prone to get breakouts and it just gives the complexion kind of a dull look but even more important because of the thickness of that layer your skin tends to wrinkle more or at least it, the appearance of the wrinkles is uh, a lot more so today we're going to talk about using a lemon and some salt now I can already hear the folks that deal with acne. I am not putting salt on my skin, it's gonna burn, and you're right, I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. But the first thing we wanna do is cut the lemon in half, and then we're going to put the lemon into the salt and kind of roll it around, and then we're gonna take the lemon and apply it to the face. And we're gonna very lightly, we're not gonna press down, we're gonna very lightly, lightly scrub the skin with the salt and the lemon juice. And what it's gonna do is take that outer layer off and the lemon is full of vitamin C. You know, there's all sorts of products and all sorts of serums that contain vitamin C. Science has shown that it makes the new cells a lot healthier. It helps them build protection, collagen elasticity. So the vitamin C is very good and we're putting it directly to the skin. What you won't wanna do after doing this is run out into the sun without any form of sun protection. You definitely wanna apply SPF 30. It doesn't even matter if you're using a foundation that has some SPF protection in it. That's just one layer. You want a multi-layer approach when you're using any kind of product, whether it's a skin peel or it is one of these natural methods that I'm telling you about that removes any of the outer layer because you're removing some of the protection you have from the sun as well. So very, very important to use a sunscreen. After you have done the scrub, you wanna rinse your skin with water and then you wanna apply a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil is a great, great light moisturizer. That's the first thing you wanna put on and then you wanna put on your sunscreen before you go out inside. You're gonna find that this very inexpensive, very easy to do scrub about twice a week, about three days apart, will really brighten your complexion. It will help minimize breakouts um, and I said I was going to talk about acne skin, so this is a good point to do it. What you're going to use in the place of the lemon is an orange, and you're not going to use any salt. You're just going to use the orange. And the reason for that is the properties and enzymes and the AHAs in the orange are milder and they are more healing and more moisturizing. So until you get your acne breakouts calmed down, certainly you don't want to use a salt scrub. You can add a little sugar to the orange, just like we did with the salt and the lemon, uh, to get a more scrubbing effect. But again, very, very lightly. This is not, not trying to scrub a dirty pan. So, you know, we want to always treat the skin very, very gently, but this will help you out a lot. And it's, again, an inexpensive way. You can use the orange and put the other half in the fridge for the next time. So. I hope you find these tips really, really helpful. I mean, I'm here to give you ways to get your skin to look great without spending a ton of money. A lot of times, many of these spa techniques that have been developed and even products come from these simple, simple measures that you can do at home and spend just a few dollars and get the same results. So please share the video, like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. You can see there's the, I'm gonna put the little arrow up down there. And there's also a blog on here called Skin So Fabulous, which is just for you skin care junkies of mine that are on the channel for skincare. Go ahead and go sign up for the blog and you're gonna find articles and tips and all sorts of things there. I will be back soon with another great tip for your skin, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm.